Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another special report. Today's date, September 1, 2022. New, this is a new YouTube channel for me. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share. Arcs, Fallen Angels, and Atlantis. So some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot Subscribers, Suspicious Observers, Israeli News Live with Stephen Benoon, Dr. Michael Sala. So let's get started. Okay, I submit to you that we have an orchestrated putting out of news, uh, both from the dark side and from the white hats. In this case, the term, I believe, that's coming out from several sources is ARC. So, Here's our first story. This is from Israeli News Live Stephen Benoon, formerly with the CIA, now as a ministry, but regularly gets updates from the um, Pentagon. And this is about Adla uh, Antarctica and some things that have been going on. So Antarctica. Uh, so Stephen is reporting, yeah, in the uh, a little history. In 2016, we had um, people like John Kerry going down to Antarctica. That was right at the time of uh, uh, an election, and people were wondering, why is John Kerry going to Atlantis? And this had to do with the battle between the U.S., Russia, and China to claim technology, supposedly from the fallen angels, but there's a possibility now this came from um, other species like uh, Atlantis and some off-world uh, groups. So, at any rate, there was technology there that was being fought over, and at that time, Pope Francis and the leader of the Russian Orthodox Church, Kirill, met uh, in Cuba. And this is 2016. He came up with an agreement how these nations were going to uh, be involved with the technology in uh, Antarctica. Now, about 2016, Russia also uh, took the, uh, a, an object called the Ark of Gabriel, and this was, had been found in Saudi Arabia, near Mecca. Now, about the time of the Hajj, that's that annual trip the Muslims make to Mecca to touch the rock and all that, had been discovered this Ark of Gabriel. And so far as I know, I know the name, and I do recall reading about Russia taking it from Saudi Arabia in 2016. They had a special ship that took it. Now... When this object was discovered in Saudi Arabia uh, and they tried to touch or move it, it emitted plasma and came the, the outside this Mecca is like this huge um, area and the plasma went outside of this Mecca and killed thousands of people. The cover story was that this, they always had millions of people that come for this Hajj, that there had been a stampede, but it was actually plasma from this object. So in 2016, Russia had a specialized trip and, I mean, ship and people to move this object to Antarctica. 
Now, Stephen Benoon is also bringing this out about Antarctica. Antarctica is a location of specialized uh, technology based on quantum uh, physics and other things that are new. Now he's telling this story. Recently there was a group of U.S. Navy SEALs who went to Antarctica and underneath they went two miles down into a cave and they were going to be exploring it. The leader of these Navy SEALs apparently is um, uh, an intuitive and he re regularly receives dreams and he had a dream and um, this woman who he believes is like a guardian angel to him had told him to take additional weapons that they would need explosives and this added a lot of weight. The guys didn't really want to take it, but it's good they did because that way they could fight their way out. Now, it, Stephen Benoon believes that uh, the Navy SEALs encountered fallen angels. And we know that uh, the Book of Enoch, and we have several references in the Bible about the fallen angels that came down to earth and mated with human women and God put 200 of them, he imprisoned them. Stephen Benoon believes that some of these fallen angels are in Antarctica. And he believes that the Navy SEALs encountered these fallen angels and they had bodies of fire and the Navy SEALs used the explosives and it took about three or four to take these beings down and the Navy SEALs also encountered um, injuries they had like broken bones and bruises from whatever the fallen angels that power they were putting out. And these beings could communicate with the Navy SEALs uh, using telepathy and communicated to the Navy SEALs they wanted to kill them. Now, Stephen is bringing this out. And so the Navy SEALs got back. Their commander then wanted them to go back and get one of these bodies of fire and bring it back so they could study it so a few of them did go back but when they went down into the cave two miles down uh, uh, they found nothing no bodies no shell casings it's like the whole area had been cleaned now Stephen Benoon believes from the book of Enoch is talking about seven mountains he believes those are in Antarctica and that they're in the right location before the tilt of the earth. And he's equating this to the flood of Noah. So, now... Suspicious Observers is also talking about a cycle we're on. Uh, suspicious Observers. This is a science-based uh, space weather program talking about a 12-year cycle. And that in between, there's a 6,000-year cycle when there are events and celestial pressures from outside the Earth that impact impact the earth on the 6,000 year cycle we would have had uh, sometime here that flood of Noah here we would have had Atlantis going down for the last time that was an extinction level event both of these were that God allowed or facilitated in response to genetic manipulation of 
humans, animals, and plants. God despises genetic manipulation. But there is a, um, a regular space weather cycle that's accurate based on my knowledge also. And God can allow or not allow, facilitate or s swat it away. So we are on that time frame. Now, now we have this. So Stephen Benoon then is bringing this out, this about this information about the ark. And I submit to you that's just a way of putting that word forward with a concept into the new cycle. Here's the second part. This is Dr. Michael Sala. So a few weeks ago, JP, that's his whistleblower with the Army, brought forth this story that the U.S. military was taken by helicopter to, here's uh, Florida, Bermuda Triangle, somewhere in this area. And they were taken to a corporate um, ocean-based platform and their helicopter landed. Then they were met by humans who were slightly different, a different, uh, about seven feet tall uh, or three meters tall. And they went into a submarine that was 10 feet tall or about three meters. So this is about seven feet, two meters. So these human-like beings were very tall, about seven foot, two meters. They went into a submarine that was 10 feet tall or three meters tall. That's very tall for a submarine. They were white humans. They had white skin. They spoke English. And they had uniforms on that JP had seen before on the moon. They had a lot of technology. They had touchscreen technology. Now the pilot of the sub wore a tight-fitting helmet and he had gloves on and he made hand movements like we would do in martial arts and JP's interpretation and understanding was this is how the pilot of the submarine was operating the submarine through these hand movements and obviously uh, tech. Okay, so then they go down underneath. So here's the Atlantic Ocean and they go down deep and they see these three domed cities and they're connected by a bridge-like operation and then they their submarine comes there's a jolt and like a grabbing so taking inside now the military group there are cities inside here cities and fields and, and um also, in this one, they have three, lar three pyramids, one large, one small. These are black pyramids, and they have on top a white metal. And JP's understanding was these are generating energy, and they also these dome cities pick up some kind of energy from the movement of the water. Some type of interaction here. So, the city, the large city, was two square miles or five square kilometers 
and the height of it was one half mile are 805 meters and it had a glow and there were a lot of plants one of which JP described as being a very very tall palm the leaves came halfway down and the coconuts on it were elongated oval shaped Many of the buildings that he saw inside the city looked like the modern uh, buildings uh, that had been built in Dubai. Now, the U.S. military, and JP was with the U.S. military, were told that their purpose of being brought there to witness different things and to gain certain knowledge was to share technology before the event. The event was not named nor described. Now, JP also said that they saw a flag that had a Star of David and two gold bars. He did not interpret the meaning of the flag. They had increased oxygen there. They can could see in, from their location, the military, they could see into the city, but they weren't allowed to go into the city. And they could see people. And they were walking around, and some of them were walking like uh, large dog-like pets. And uh, they saw blue vehicles with small wheels on them. People driving around in the modern buildings like Dubai. So... That concludes my special report on the arcs. But let's uh, tie this together. So we have arcs that were covered that were in Antarctica. We have the Ark of Gabriel, you know, some type of ET technology. We have then the uh, arcs, these domed cities underneath the Atlantic Ocean. I submit that some of these uh, also include technology from Atlantis. And then we have this cryptic uh, information coming from JP's uh, trip to underneath the Atlantic Ocean that the uh, beings there, the human-like beings, underneath the Atlantic Ocean wanted to share technology with the humans on Earth before an event. So, we'll just need to be in prayer for this. Okay, this concludes my special report. I love you, and I'll see you soon.